Hello and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2 following my career. Fuck what freight a subsidiary of SD Logistics as we continue our Conquer Britain series. We are in Grimsby. We've just dropped off some roof tiles that we brought over from Norwich. And we have enough money to get ourselves another truck and another driver. So let's jump into it. Let's get on with today. So we'll be heading into our truck dealers we'll be going with uh, Volvo I always think we're still in the Merc we're not in the Volvo uh, Norwich Volvo dealer and we will purchase online because we've purchased quite a few before let me go to my fleet configuration and we want the uh, right hand drive purchase as simple as that and that's 264 grand and we're up to 376 after resting through the night and also paying for a little bit of uh, touch up on the truck it was only a grand so that's not too bad so we'll purchase that and we shall move our vehicle to i thought we had another how many we got there we've got two there we've got one here we've got no one we've got no one running out of ireland at the minute um our last guy must have gone up here as well we're going to send this one is cambridge full cambridge isn't full should we try and fill one out at least? Let's let's send it into Cambridge. Let's do that. So next up, we need to hire someone. So we'll get a job. We've got a pretty good, obviously, UK network. This this shows where we've not really been and explored by having all these little extra bits about. So uh, yeah. But anyway, we'll uh, we'll we'll hire a driver. And the best on offer at the minute is two point five, and that'll be Michaela. She needs some work done, doesn't she? To be fair, they're all pretty rubbish. For a 2.5, I would have expected a little bit more. But, Michaela, you are the best driver, so we shall take you. And you will be going with this truck here. Awesome. Lovely work. And we're down to 106,000. And she was our 10th employee. Clarky P being number one, which is number two. But our first employer all the way down. We're doing all right. We're getting, we're getting a company built up. We're getting the company built up. We're doing okay. So with all the management jobs done and dusted, we are going to head off. There's a Globus in town. Uh, they should have a fair few jobs. We'll head over there and see what they've got for us. Turn left. They're sitting around the corner. Keep right, and then turn right. Hopefully they've got some UK jobs. If not, there's some other. Turn right. There are some other companies obviously about, but Globus generally <laughs> is a large one. Yes, I'm not sure. We might get something. I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a port town. We could get some fish to move about, maybe. Who knows? We often have a caviar delivery. It'd be weird if we were getting caviar from Grimsby, but <laughs> you never know. ETS does surprise you sometimes. There we are, Globus. Oh, that's not a good sign. They've <laughs> only got one trailer in the yard. <laughs> it's all over now. Let's see what they got for us. Well, they had two jobs. There was used packing, which is over there on the right. There was two two trailers. I didn't see that one. Used packing going back down to um, Felixstowe, and this one with the Glo the lovely Globus trailer. This one is uh, fresh cod. Going down to Folkestone, so I figured, let's do the fish. I said it'd be nice if we could get fish, so that's what we're going to do. Let's head on out. Once we get out on the open road, we'll have a little rundown of exactly what it is we've got. Turn right. I'd just like to be able to try and at least try and attempt to concentrate while I'm in the cities, in the cities and towns. Try to do as little reading as possible. But we have marked up pretty much all of our road now here in Grimsby. Just, just a, an in and out road that we don't seem to use on our way in. So I have said that we may have to have a little exploratory episode or in between where I just drive around the country. See if I can find a, a, a nice car mod so we can just have a, have a day out. 
driving around. Let's see what sort of vehicles we can get. You let me out? You are. That's very kind of you. Make sure no one's coming the other way now. Thank you very much. It's very kind of you. A scholar and a gent, no doubt. There is also a garage here in Grimsby that needs to go on our list of purchases. I think filling out the garages we have, obviously, is going to bring us in more money than buying lots of empty garages. So once we've filled these out, we'll then go on a, a garage purchase spree because every, every episode, every day, we're going to be churning in more cash. Go straight. Go straight up the back of this bus. Anyway, I hope you're all well. I, don't think, I think I forgot to say that last episode. I uh, hope you're all well. I do always hope you're all well. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for continuing to support the series, support the channel. Hope you're enjoying the trucking. Um, I think, other, although I, we went the wrong way last time out, I think we're getting a bit better. I think we're getting a bit cleaner. Definitely feel like we're picking up less fines and having less incidences. That looks lovely, doesn't it? Doesn't it look lovely? We love the English countryside. So, shall we have a little look at what we are doing today? It is Atlantic Cod Phillip, port in the North Sea. They took their boats the long way round. <laughs> 16 tonnes. From, uh, we're going to Folkestone. We don't drop these off at Tesco's in Folkestone. Or Folkestone. Depends on uh, how you want to say it. I say it's Folkestone because we get quite a few American viewers. But over here we call it Folkestone. Uh, £11,000. Um, we've got 12 hours to do the delivery. It's just under 6 hours away. 277 miles. So this could possibly be one of our, our longer conquering Britain trips at the minute. I think we've, we've, we've done sort of, did we do sort of Cambridge up to Scotland which is probably the, the longest year but 277 miles is a, is a good distance for us here on a transport in the UK. That is uh, quite a stretch of the country. So Lord knows what we'll chat about today. We've probably got about 45 minutes to fill. What shall we chat about? Uh, a little update on uh, what's Mr. Farquhar watching? What is Mr. Farquhar watching at the minute? I've uh, slightly embarrassingly, I've, I've gotten back into my wrestling again lately. I tell you what, wrestling's the WWE more specifically. It's, it's been pretty good of late. Got back into that, uh, especially around all the news of you know, Dirty Vinnie Mac. And him being gone, and say the product's improved, I enjoy it. I know, I know it's not for everyone. No, no one likes that. But I've been getting back into me wrestling. Um, a few weeks ago was um, Backlash in Lyon, and oh my God, the crowd was incredible. And you, as you do, you see people online complaining, like mainly Americans. Sorry, Americans, complaining that they really hate when. The football fans take over in the audience and it, it, all the chanting and the singing and it don't stop. But that's how you get into it. Like as uh, as a fan of wrestling and a fan of other sports, the, the crowd sometimes on on a Raw, on a SmackDown, or even on an American pay per view or premium live event, as they call these days, they are dead. Like it's 2024 and they're still doing the Stone Cold What chant, and it's not even ironic anymore. Is like that's all they've got. What? This is awesome. And the shouting EC dub, CM Punk constantly, even though they're not there. Like it's just boring. It's predictable. That Leon crowd for um, Backlash was insane. That was great. And they're on a bit of a worldwide tour at the minute, so we should get a lot, a lot more of these 
crowds. I think even um, like the, the commentators and the, the performers, the wrestlers were saying like even their house shows and their, they did a Smackdown recording there as well. Like they felt like pay-per-view atmospheres. And it's because of this, you know, European sports fans. We love a chant. We love a insult. And it's just, yeah, it's been awesome. More of that, please. Especially when they come later on in the year. They're going to Glasgow, Scotland, as they like to say. Or Clash of Castle. It was in Cardiff um, last time around. So that, gets, that should be a good crowd. So, yeah, we've been watching that. Um, where else have we been? What else have we been doing? Oh, yeah, Fallout. I started watching Fallout. I think I'm on like, episode three, maybe episode four. I'm having trouble keeping track of, of how many I've watched. Because at the minute, I'm sort of watching them twice. I try and watch it, and I can't. And then I watch it late at night, and nearly sort of fall asleep. Yeah, I try, I try and watch it, and they, they, like, you know little boy screaming for his teeth as we scream for everything at the minute. Uh, so apologies if you pick that up in the background. This is going to be tight. Where's the mirror? Oh. Just going to grind that trail around there a little bit. Mind that post. There we go. This is way too tight. This is not... <laughs> once again, this is not a British junction. This is not, not how we do it. Um... Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So I've been trying to been trying to watch it, and like everyone, other people, especially those you know, gamers that watch it and those that played Fallout that watch it, absolutely raved about it. They really have. Honestly, I just, I'm not that that engrossed. Considering I've watched every episode twice, or the four that I've watched, I've probably watched twice at this point. Like this. Obviously, it's, it's got it's, people say, "Oh, it's all the, the Easter eggs, Easter egg this, Easter egg that." The whole the whole bloody show is an Easter egg. Okay, it's got everything from the games. The story seems a little bit. I don't know. I I think it feels like it's being rushed. Obviously, because it's eight episodes. Like they're trying to get a lot into each episode, and I just think it's just too much, moving too quick. For me, I'll finish watching it and then I'll sort of give a proper evaluation of what I thought. But at the minute, four episodes in, I just think from where we started to where we are at the end of episode four, like too much, too much has happened for me to keep track of. It's just cool to see the Fallout world come to life, and that's the thing. I think too many people have like, wow, yeah, Fallout, real life Fallout, and not really focused on the product. Like the story and the pacing and like what's actually going on, um, but yeah. So I'm trying, trying to enjoy that. Uh, me and the missus are watching Clarkson's Farm naturally. Naturally, who's not watching Clarkson's Farm? If you do any sort of farm sim content, you are definitely watching Clarkson's Farm. And talk about an emotional roller coaster this season! Wow, wow. If you if you've not watched it, let's go and watch it. This season is really good really really good I think it's putting a, an awesome light on not just Jeremy and his family and his, his business and his farm but just on farming and the hardships and the struggles I mean last season did as well but this season yeah definitely so yeah they're, they're sort of the main things I think I've been watching yeah much to uh, much to um, Lynn <laughs> and Rusty's disgust still watching McGray's Anatomy. <laughs> Once I've finished a few things, we're going to get stuck into some Reacher. That's on the list of things to uh, to gorge. Again, it's just getting the time to watch it at a time that I can enjoy it. So I'm trying to watch things during the day while my partner's at work and I've got the boys or one of the boys and Trying to keep him entertained and comfortable and happy is, is, is not always the best atmosphere in time to try and watch something you really want to watch. So that's why sort of the wrestling's come back, because I can just jam that on, either watch something that I've recorded for a recent thing, or 
I stick uh, the network on and I watch old stuff from whenever. As I've said many times, I, I once went back and I, I started watching from 1995, the very first, or 1994, very first episode of Raw. And um, I started that ages ago. And I'm now up to 2003, about halfway through 2003. Like, I, I drop in and drop out of it. Um, I try and watch every Raw and Smackdown in order. And every now and then, although I'm past sort of the, the, the absorption of WCW into WWE, WWE, um, I didn't watch. I, th I, th I tried and I thought about trying to put in the WCW in with it in the same timeline. But it, it just wasn't progressing. But every now and then when I get a little bit, oh, death. Because 2003 isn't a good time for wrestling. It really wasn't. Uh, and much of the early to mid or early to late sort of 2000 to 2010 wasn't very good and even after that so once you get a little bit whew, this is a bit much this isn't good I, I jump back and we go back to WCW and I think I'm like 1997 maybe 1998 WCW which honestly isn't really a good product but it's a change so you can see different Different, I don't get to see different wrestlers because most of them are now in WWE in 2003. It's just a weird jumble of timelines, but mixing things up. That's, that's, that's sort of where the watchings are at. As for my consumption set, I'm recording this a little bit in advance. I think I said last episode we uh, got a couple of weeks, maybe three or four weeks where my partner's going to be working Sundays, probably, I think a lot of them are quite long days on Sundays, probably like 9 till 7 type thing going on. So there'll be no trucking streams, probably, unless unless she does finish early, probably no evening streams, which is a disappointment, but that is life. Um, are you not going to let me? I think he is letting me. If he ain't, I'm going for it anyway. Uh, yeah, so these are reports uh, up ahead. But uh, a good friend of the channel, channel member, channel supporter, and uh, someone that I consider uh, an, an, an internet friend, a good internet friend, is uh, Sumi Dad. And he has come in. At this point, it's coming. But hopefully, uh, it will have started by now. He's been getting into his sim racing, which is cool. I love seeing people venturing in new stuff and trying different things. Um, and he's going to be doing a hot lap series around the uh, Le Mans 24-hour track. And it's just going to be like one hot lap in a different vehicle each each time. Um, yeah, testing his skills, having fun with the different vehicles and mods and stuff. So I'm looking forward to that coming. It's not started yet, but I, uh, hopefully by the time this comes out, that will be a thing and we will be watching that. Um, so yeah, go check that out. If you like a bit of sim racing or you're interested in yeah, just supporting someone that supports me and anything like that, like go give go, go him a check out. Simi Dad's an awesome guy. He's been quite pivotal in my community and building my community. and helping things progress there so yeah definitely uh, shout out to him he also you know owns and runs sd logistics the vtc that i am currently driving for so you know go to his page to find out more details on how to join the vtc if you wish he tries to do a community convoy when he can he's a busy family man as well so we can it can be like three weeks in a row with the community uh, convoy and then you might have to go a couple of weeks without one but anyone can start a convoy and invite the rest of the you know the company drivers along it's, it's, you know it doesn't have to be him i've done one or two so yeah there's there's that so go check him out Then away from that, obviously, I got my Formula One. A passion for Formula One. <laughs> been watch, obviously, been watching that. Although I have been 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 doing it the poor man's way this season. 
because I am fed up with paying through the teeth for it. It's been uh, highlight shows or or naughty streams online to watch my Formula One this year. So much of it is international anyway, so you have to stay up late or get up early. So if I uh, if I go the highlight route, then then I can do it in my own time, you know. More often than not, I'll watch the YouTube highlights before I even watch the TV one. Mate, I'm coming in. So, but yeah, enjoying that. Cease has been interesting. Uh, a few weeks ago, young Lando Norris got his first win. So us two out of the new breed of uh, British drivers that have uh, got their Grand Prix victories now. Hopefully we'll see many more for him in the future. But Lando and George Russell both on one apiece. I'd love those boys to both have competitive cars at the same time. I'm probably going to regret this, but I'm pulling out. Keep. Well, it reminds me, also another chap that I check out and watch on a regular basis is Couch Coop. He uh, does uh, video game reviews and he's very honest, he's, he's got a great way of doing it, he's very passionate. Um, yeah, if you're interested in a variety of gaming and, you know, <laughs> someone who's a bit like me <laughs> reviewing games, uh, but yeah, go check out uh, Couch Coop. He's uh, got a good channel. Slow, brother, slow. Do I get fined? I'm going over the bridge, getting fined. Oh, not the policeman behind us as well. I thought Blimey. Shall we uh, maybe move over? Yeah, I think he's sort of trying to set an example for us there. Slow down and move over, Mr. Barquois. Y'all's gonna be in troubles. Now, I always crash whenever I try and get a little video sequence going over the bridge. Over the Darford Crossing, I always, always have a little incident. Since the very first time, which I think was like episode 3. Episode 2 or 3. Man, we had a bit of a, a bit of a bump there. So that was our... That was our toll fee coming out. That went a speed and fine. Luckily enough. I'm sure I've mentioned before, but just in case, because not everyone watches every episode, but you shouldn't if you aren't, you know, if you're a subscriber, and you should be, if you're a subscriber, you will have noticed that we have pulled from streaming on Twitch for the time being. Had a lot of issues with streaming on Twitch. I'm hopefully going to do more streaming over here to counter that. Again, time and children, family willing. It's not always easy at the moment, which is a crying shame because I have a lot of fun with the streams. I have a lot of fun with the channel in general. I love doing this. I love just getting on and chatting, chatting my chat, playing my game, and you know, hopefully get some some conversation, or just a little interaction down there. Is always awesome. You know, like, comment, subscribe. We'll do it at the end, but why not do it now? Do all that good stuff. I did make a little graphic to to put on the videos, but I always forget to stick it in. And the old call to action, I sort of dropped away from all that sort of stuff anyway. 
Like people say you should do it. And, you know. I don't know. I've never subscribed to a channel because a little pop-up come up and said subscribe to a channel. But it's supposed to be like a reminder, isn't it? Some people, I guess, for some people it works. So it's, it's that whole advertisement thing. Do it enough time, someone someone will. So, yeah. I did, I did have one. Just a simple one. Created. I, everything that I do is normally pretty simple. I'm, I'm not... I'm not artistically minded. I'm not creatively minded. I'm certainly not like graphics design technically minded I'm barely computer literate so I tell you what I can as you can tell by the generally anything on my channel thumbnails videos editing it's it's all pretty basic because I'm I, that's me I'm the I'm the I am the Tesco's basic range of content creators I guess No thrills. That's what we are over here. No thrills. Just straight in. Getting our gameplay on. Having some fun and having a chat. Being miserable throughout. That's that's what we are. That's what we are. We've arrived in Folkestone, man. That's pretty quick. That's pretty good. So we're coming off here. So we're bringing Atlantic Get ready to turn fish from the North Sea down to the English Channel which is closer to the Atlantic. Am I not indicating? I am. Um, it's naughty of me. I want to turn it off. Sorry. Thank you very much. I'm giving them a wave, by the way. You didn't see that. <laughs> Sometimes I get a little bit into, into it. I forget what you can and can't see. Right. So, where are we dropping off? Gotta go. Gotta go. This is where it ends. This is where it ends. Well, we'll follow these tire marks around the back. Try and remain clear of the uh, plant pot. We'll take that out. And where have you got us over here? Ooh, right around the back. Okay. Okay. I'd love a little get out and walk. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Right. That's not a lot of space, is it? That is not a lot of space over there. Who are we going in front? Where's my little... There it is. Don't use it very often because it's on the mouse. Hmm. Do you think? I might want to reverse all the way out and do, like I'm sure some of you think I'm about to do, because that's just going to go all kinds of wrong. But if I hug this tight enough. It's probably going to work. See what we get. Let's see what we get. Where are we? Nope. Nope. No. 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 That's not gonna work. Okay. Might have to do a, a naughty. Um, okay, this is yours. Have it type job. Jacked it. Let me have. There we go. But I cannot see out the other mirror, so we have to come out of cab for this. 
If not, we would be here all day. And like I say, this is probably already quite a long one. take that. I don't think that's too bad. There we go. They'll have that. And like I said before, if they'll have it, we'll have it. Quite happily. But I head on straight. Engine off. Let's deliver it. There you go, Tesco's. Have your fish. 288 miles total. Time taken six, nearly seven hours. I think we did make pretty good time on that. And eleven thousand and twenty-two pounds sterling. Oh, I thought we hit level thirty last time. We didn't. We hit level twenty-three. <laughs> I'm, I'm a level behind, but never mind. But that is a another jobby in the bag. Another day, another delivery, and a little bit more cash in the pocket. Need to save up for another truck, so we need to work our way up to another three hundred and twenty thousand. So we've got our truck and driver plus pocket change. I hope you've enjoyed that one. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. Thank you for the support. Much appreciated. And hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.